So you know that a person's stall is ridiculously busy when you have to grab them, grab a couple of their favourite toys and actually take them outside so you've got some real room to film. I'm with BJ now from Eagle Leather, which is an absolute Melbourne kink institution, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been around now? Uh, 24 years, so a long time. Always on Hoddle Street as well. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I remember it from years and years and years ago driving past always with these great window displays and it's just it really is a melbourne kink institution yeah look it, it's something we've um we you know i can remember our window displays used to get the attention even of ro radio programs it's one of the good things about being on hoddle street i guess and shocking some people we've we've had complaints as well but we've also had people coming in and, and you know complimenting the windows um but i guess we've changed over time and these days we don't have the same window but i think the complaints are probably better than the compliments though for marketing yeah i think so yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so just just so that people know you're you're very very active in the melbourne king community i mean i've seen you at um sexpo doing workshops and displays and you run regular workshops from eagle leather your stand in here is just absolutely chock-a-block and, and busting now but you're here today really basically just as a retailer that's right. Sexual education is something that we're really, really um, proud to, to be able to, to give to our community. Um, we've been doing that as well since the early 90s. And I can remember actually being somebody who, used to, before I took over Eagle Leather, um, receiving the newsletters and seeing these workshops of the, how to learn how to tie people or how to fist people. Um, and it seemed so fascinating. This is going back, you know, in the 90s when it, 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 you know, workshops were almost like unheard of on, on these topics. And, and BDSM was still really, really taboo. Um, but these days, look at—I mean, look at today. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, this, is, this is this is just amazing. Seeing seeing all of these people so diverse and just all walks of life. It's and it's just incredible. But it's also interesting. You talk about when you when they when you were doing the workshops back then, because a lot of these people that we're looking at have learnt a lot of their kink on the internet. But you guys sort of almost predate that potential for internet knowledge. So it was a really important thing back then. Do you also find now that a lot of the people that are coming to you are people that have, have got that internet knowledge and are now coming for hands-on and seeing what it's really about? Well, there's this kind of accelerated kind of knowledge that people get because of the internet. I can remember trying to learn rope bondage, um, Japanese rope bondage from books and trying to read them backwards because they were Japanese. Um, so people have this accelerated learning because of the internet, but the problem with that is people go too far too quick with something and, and you can, you've got to tread with caution with, with the internet. You know, you, you get a lot of these people that um, are trying to you know, share their knowledge and they're, they're really inexperienced themselves. There is some valuable information on the internet, but you've still tread with caution. You know? And it's important to learn off others and never stop learning. That's the most important thing. If you ever hear anyone saying that they know everything, it's, it's best to stay clear from them. Really. Well, I think we're both from that generation where we learn pre-internet. And now we've got you to pull a couple of your favourite toys out here, um, and. I, I, I like this is whenever I come into Eagle Leather, I'm always fascinated by these guys. Take me through this one first. Okay. What have we got? Right. The, the, this is actually more interesting. I, I can't take this myself. I've got no, no <laughs> chance. But what I love about this is this. This kind of sums up a big part of our store is that we're for the converted. You know, <laughs> we are for the converted. So if you've been to your adult shops and you've you've kind of started off with your, your smaller butt plugs and you're a bit tired of it and you're you're not finding things that that, that fit you anymore, um, we've we've got you covered. Um, I actually injured my hip on on a dildo this size. Believe it or not, I, I, it sounds. Injured not, your not, hip? I'm surprised you didn't damage your <laughs> diaphragm. No, it was actually I was actually holding it in store. And I dropped it, and it had balls on it. It was about this size, but it was actually quite bigger. And it was back when they made them in, in rubber, and I used to say they look, actually look like melted-down car tyres or truck tyres. And I grabbed it by the balls as it was falling, and I had a tightness in my hip flexor already. And while I grabbed it, I actually tore my whole hip flexor. <laughs> What a workplace injury. It's, <laughs> like, it's, I'm not sure if it's the weirdest workplace injury or the tamest sex toy injury. It's just, oh, that is There's absolutely... a lot of weight behind it. But they, they make them a lot lighter these days, but 
back when when I first started. Holy <laughs> mother of! I know. <laughs> okay, so okay, so like all jokes aside, the weight in this is obviously so that it sits there. Right, this isn't yeah, the sort of thing you hold. Yeah. And, and it will stay in place. Um, As opposed to the suction cuppy ones, this just uses the weight. I mean, the shoe, shoe weight you could you could literally you could work out with this. I'm yeah, just totally, yeah, you totally. could. That's that's insane. That's this just. Is, this is what I love. What I love about what I, what I do is that you know we, we can you know we, we, if you have already outgrown certain toys, you know, you can work yourself up to this. Or even if you're not ready for this, you can actually have this in front of you and think, I'm one day going to work up to that. And and and, and and I do love that because I got my violet wand from you guys. And so you really do run the entire gamut. There's actually nobody that, there's nobody that could walk into your store and not be able to walk out with something suitable. Yeah, we, we still cater for everybody. I mean, I say that I'm whether for the converted, but if you're interested in BDSM, we've got, we've got everything for you to say big in your journey as well. Uh, I guess one thing that we don't stock is the, the very cheap kind of um, poor quality BDSM products. So we're, we're more for the, the if you want quality. And we, we believe that quality should actually be a big part of fetish. Well, especially when you're doing things to your body, you actually want good quality. I was just thinking my lunge whip and my... Um, my um, violet wand are actually both from you guys and they're both beautiful they're beautiful quality they're really really good units um talk to me about what else you've got here let me just put gigantor down there this is actually a really really cool one to start with it's an inflatable butt, inflatable butt plug so here we go you can inflate it there and it gets bigger and bigger so you can go at your own pace you can pop this in um when it's at its uh, when it's at its starting point and just slowly inflate that's probably about as big as you want to go with that yep. and then you can just release there we go so is that is that more of a training thing or a toy thing training is it's good for training or it's a good sensation as well like having your your rectum filled and, and slowly stretching it out can be quite pleasurable for a lot of people so i've played with i've played with inflating gags but never with inflating butt plugs that's a yeah yeah it's definitely a Highly recommend it. Cool, and that, that I think you were saying that's one of your better sellers. That's one it of your more popular. Popular, especially if people want to get into training. I mean, we have training kits as well, where you can start from small, small toys and, and build yourself up for slow dilation. Mm. Um, but this is also good for that slow pumping dilation. You just you can just gradually increase it like that as well. See, yeah. Cool, and obviously being soft, it's going to be a lot easier and a lot sort of you know more gentle and. Exactly. Cool. Now, one last thing that I want to just pull up here, because this is something that I've been sort of getting into the idea of myself lately, and these are these sort of domly domly masks, yeah, which yeah, yeah. seem to be... Is it just me? Are they seem to be sort of growing in popularity just recently, or...? They are. Look, this is becoming more and more popular, and there's something about the face and the character that we have with our face as well, and when you take away certain expressions on your face, it can give you, personally, the person wearing it, a bit of a different sensation or a different... It can induce a bit of a different character out of the person. It's, it's funny that you say that when you talk about it does make you quite expressionless and it tends, there, there is definitely something about them. Are you finding these are becoming they are, more yeah. and more popular? Yeah, totally. And look, it's especially something like this, if, if you're playing with somebody on a regular basis and you've built a relationship with them, um, for the person, if your partner is wearing this and, and they're topping you or, or if they're the, the dominant in, in your relationship, you get used to the, the sometimes faces on a day-to-day -day basis and this kind of creates a little bit of a fantasy as well it takes away that identity uh, yep. as well which, yep. which can be quite fun um i actually was saying like i had some friends going to burning man um just oh that'd be absolutely happy. brilliant and i was thinking i should have actually recommended these for burning man for because the, the dust there yeah they would be they would be great it's or, or bush dust or something that'd be really cool for you know. it's really interesting yeah. because I've, I've been looking at these lately going yeah i think i want one i think i want one yeah. but the the problem is one of my favorite things is when a sub is looking at me and getting angry because of my shit eating grin because <laughs> you know that that pisses them off a Smiling status pisses them off, and I'm I'm sort of tossing up between the two, and I just uh, I don't I don't know, but they they really really do look cool. Um, how how's it been in there so far for you today? Yeah, it's been a good day. You know, it's it's always busy it's with Fetish Expo. Um, really interesting to see a lot of vendors as well, a lot of um, creative people in in Australia. And a lot of
lot of designers. Yeah, totally, and that's great to see. You know, what I mean, if we can actually um, promote these guys more and more, that that's better for everyone. You know, and it's great to see how much we're growing, and that that is a good indication of how how much BDSM is growing. I. I was looking. I was looking in there, and I was thinking to myself, "Yeah, I can see it's in Jeff's shed next yeah, year." Yeah, totally. Uh, look, it's it, it, it's packed in there. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really is. It's unbelievable. It's demand for this, you know, um, and they do a great job. You know, Oz King Fest. Um, there's so much hard work. They've got great volunteers who get behind this, and and actually shows it's a good expression and a good um, indication of a strong community when you see that so many people helping and getting involved with Oz King Fest. Yeah, and you know, as we're standing here, I'm just watching this flood of people just going in and going in and the one thing I, I think I love the most about it is you see these people walking in dressed in full BDSM gear and then other people in jeans and a t-shirt and it just it's just it's such a diverse such an amazing community it is and you know it's fascinating I just saw someone getting married around the corner and they're getting their wedding photos around the corner <laughs> 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 they're gonna have some interesting wedding photos oh, that's really all these all these background <laughs> shots it's just perfect um, so look thank you very much always always a pleasure you, to catch up you. with you um i look forward to seeing you at many 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 more of these cool always. bj appreciate it love what you do thank you thanks <laughs>